Let's get to that halftime show. <laughs> we, let's get to this halftime show, man. You see my nigga Usher. Uh, Hold on, wait. <coughs> Did you enjoy the halftime show? Um, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I be feeling like the performances be a little cheesy. Okay. Is that like is that is that? Did you enjoy the halftime show? I ain't gonna lie. I didn't see it. I seen clips of it. But I wasn't watching it. I was trying to go hit a play or something. But, uh, <laughs> I missed halftime. But from what I did see, it was fucking hilarious. Why well, was Jermaine? Hold on, Dupree? wait, man. Hold on, uh, wait, man. Calm down. <laughs> Everybody relax. Yeah, a, you see, I, you see, Everybody relax. You see, I shut the fuck up, right? Did you like the halftime show? You check it out? Yeah, well, yeah. I liked it. It was very nostalgic. And it's to the point where that's pretty much all we're going to get from it. It's not like they're going to turn us on to somebody we've never heard of at the Super Bowl. Yeah, for sure. So it was right. a nice little throwback to some music I listened to in high school. You know what I did notice today when I was driving? Anytime um, I had somebody in the car and I was talking, I was talking in my headset so so I wouldn't ride in silence. I cut the radio on for them. Mm-hmm. All I heard today on the fucking radio yeah, don't is fun. Usher Raymond, man. <laughs> One thing that I noticed about the Super Bowl and the halftime show, your streams and your plays go through the fucking roof the next day. Those are facts. So even though they don't get paid to actually perform at the Super Bowl, they getting some money on that back end because... Usher was spending the day. Hold on. You sure they don't get paid? Yeah. Not, they, not, they, they actually... Per, they pay themselves to for they the gotta pay for they hold like the you remember ball. whenever um what's the yeah. nigga's name rock this way you remember all them people was performing in sync and yeah. all them people whoever was the headliner for that they had to pay for all of that all the shit then the pyro was, and all that you would have thought the NFL would be paying them to come and do the halftime Michael well, Jackson got it's, it's more of an honor. Yeah, it's the same to, thing as with the commercial. They know what they're working with. Just like they're not going to pay you to perform at the Grammys. Michael Jackson got paid. Yeah, I, I think that's true, though. I think Michael yeah, Jackson I, did get paid. I don't know. Look, I, hey, you the guy. Hey, I'm just saying, we not, we not in the back with the facts. Into the rabbit hole. Yeah, for sure, but I, I'm pretty sure you're right. They had I'm pretty sure Michael you're right. Jackson's foundation. And then I think, am I tripping, or is that the same night they went and did We Are The World? Think so, cause they, cause part of the negotiations they wanted him to, uh, he, they wanted him to do some old shit, you know, like classic shit, yeah. like Billie Jean. And uh, shit. He's uh, like, uh, that's nothing. I don't. That's, uh, no, that's uh, nothing. All right. So, he was, <laughs> so on the on the surface, it says that in 1993 he requested one million dollars, and they said no. They yeah, they said no, but, but they in, gave him something in negotiations. Well, it says it. Well, then it says that he ended up performing for free. So yeah. I'll, I'll keep you updated. But they paid. They paid that. Because obviously that that's what it's going to say on the search. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. what it is. They paid the foundation they paid that he Michael wanted Jackson's them to. Charity. Yeah. And you know. And you know what they, that means. <laughs> yeah. You know, they say a per, uh, percentage of this goes to. Yeah. They, that, could, that percentage could be 5%. <laughs> yeah, that nigga go, go ahead and pocket that. <laughs> say that. Yeah. Shout out to Michael Jackson for finessing the system, man. <laughs> and that was when. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because what you about to say, what you about to say is important. I want them to catch all of it. You hear me? Go ahead. That was the uh, the halftime show where the nigga popped up all the way over there, and then the nigga popped up all the way over there on that scoreboard. The nigga popped up in the middle. Hey, word around. How much town, you think that, that was really him? How much you think it cost to put on that show back then? Cause think about how easy it would be to do probably that now a few hundred thousand. with holographics and all that shit. Yeah, that would be probably, probably a few, few hundred thousand back then. It was probably about a. Uh, it, he man, probably it, spent the budget on that motherfucker. Whole bunch of fake little Michael Jacksons. Ah, you feel? <laughs> no, no you ain't do it right. You ain't do it right. If my father saw you do that spin, he would be <laughs> upset. Yeah, <laughs> he'd be perturbed. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, Chuck. You ain't gonna find it. It's in a video. I watched it in a video. We, where I seen that. In 1993, the NFL also made an exception for Michael Jackson and agreed to donate $100,000 to the singer's Heal the World Foundation. Hey, and what was $100,000 back then? This one, yeah, for sure. Oh, man. 
Hey, don't go call it 1993 back then. Hey, man, it is what it is, bro. Back then, we are... I just had a birthday, man. <laughs> yeah, I was born in 91. Let's start there. It was a boot ago, gang. Yeah, 32 years ago. Our kids be like... Y'all from the 1900s? Like, hey, bro, don't say it like that, bro. Don't say it like that. Don't say it like that. That, make that. Niggas, that <laughs> make a nigga sound old. Don't say it like that, bro. Because whenever you ready, I'm ready. If you want to go, we can go. Say it like I'm him. Like That sound crazy. It do sound crazy. Like I'm from when Django was running around on a horse. King Arthur and all that. Yeah, like we from the 20th century. <laughs> And I, I was wrong about production costs. They they put that on the sponsors. So whoever sponsors the halftime show pays for the performance. Okay, my bad. But either way, the artist ain't getting prepaid. Ain't getting prepaid. Ain't getting paid to get up there to perform. No. Nope. Right. Um, what was uh what was my boy yelling at the coach about? They there was a oh, play Kelsey. where they he, he got taken out, out of the man. game and uh somebody missed a block and the guy caused a fumble and they lost the ball. Okay, let so me know. I'm trying to say, thought. I'm sorry. We talking about the halftime show. Yeah, but go no. ahead, finish that because I just seen this no, picture of him. Just, he he was out on a play where they fumbled the ball and he didn't want to be out, so he went ran up to him and said, "Don't take me out or, or whatever, something like that." Nah, yeah. yeah. The bump into him was what got me. He so. called that nigga a mother. He called that nigga. He called Andy Reid a motherfucker. Oh, okay. yeah. I re I re leap. He was re lip. Like, bro, that's well. allowed. That's like saying, bro. That's some old racist ass shit. <laughs> All right, so look, hold like saying, bro. Listen, y'all, let's not lose track. So let's get to Usher. How'd y'all feel about Usher's uh, performance? Man, tell me, then. You ain't see it. I ain't really I'm see so, it neither. I ain't. I ain't. Uh, well, uh, that makes all three of us. But what I did see, ironically today, aha, aha, uh-huh. uh-huh. um. <laughs> a motherfucker had on Facebook. It was it was uh, Swiss Beats on one side, and the other side it was motherfucking Alicia and goddamn it, Usher is behind her though. You know what like cuffing her <laughs> on the damn near stand up spoon side. Yeah, talking about you know talking about the performance was good and, and, and I'm a I'm I'm a, I'm gonna bring up his actual tweet. Yes, yeah, so I guess Swiss was saying how you know what I'm saying the the performance was live. It was good. You know Usher's ass been tweaking no, lately. He didn't have no. Both, he didn't have no insecurities about it. Based off of how he wrote and how what was said, he didn't have no insecurities about it. That's what he better say. I mean, yeah, because you don't want the public perception to be you that you that you because we see what he did that. with Kiki Ooh. and Vegas. But my nigga, he's been doing everybody like that hey. in front of they dude. They he did hit the Joe button in front of his girl, and I like he just pull up and serenade your bitch, and don't care if you there or not, I, bro. And the somebody craziest gonna thing, on him. somebody gonna hurt him. But my crazy, my thing is this though, like this nigga's dead guy, oh, herpes. I ain't gonna lie to you. Listen, <laughs> Jamaica would have got up and I would have tripped her as soon as she would have walked <laughs> towards the stage. <laughs> I'm about to embarrass the fuck you. And you know how I told Remember you I this? trip people. I uh uh hit you with a double, double clip. Yeah, you hitting the dirt. <laughs> Remember this? Now get your ass up and sit the fuck down. <laughs> you got herpes though, bro. This uh, nigga hey. is clowning. Hey, he might not have a flare up. Listen though, this <laughs> is what, he ain't stressing. <laughs> yeah, but this this is what Swiss Beat said. He says, Y'all talking about the wrong damn thing. Y'all don't see that amazing dress covering the entire stadium? Tonight's performance was nothing but amazing with two amazing giants. Congrats to Usher and my love, Alicia Keys. <laughs> that song is a classic. It's a classic. For sure. We yeah. don't do negative vibes on this side. Mm-hmm. We make history. For sure. Yeah. Go see Giants at Brooklyn Museum. It's open until July. <laughs> Bless us. <laughs> Plug real quick. Yeah, let me put that. In. He better had said nothing other than that. Cause he's light skinned for one, and you know if he would have answered any other way other than that, you know what they say. Statistically speaking, light skinned niggas, light is skin bitches. Niggas is <laughs> <laughs> statistically speaking. Oh shit, man! But what what y'all think? What y'all think about the dress covering the entire stadium? 
I mean, it really wasn't the stadium. It was what about that nigga's dick con- covering your girl's ass? Yeah, on that that part. That's what I'm worried about. That nigga. And these motherfuckers was real life spooning. Yeah, then on. Oh, they yeah. was like, "Did you see where they put the McDonald's headphones on him?" And it was like, "This is how a nigga be doing your girl oh, when they at work." <laughs> <laughs> That was my favorite one. <laughs> Bruh. 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 Hey, niggas, hey, whoever be coming up with this, it's be disrespectful as fuck. Well. You motherfuckers it are the goats. Point. It be on point. <laughs> Y'all are the goats for that shit. Point. Usher ass out of pocket. For sure. Been out of pocket. The duet was really Herpy good, though. Ass, nigga. Yeah, yeah for sure. one of my favorite songs. Usher is one of my favorite Bro, I got goosebumps when I started hearing Usher that. I love that way. song. Usher one of my that favorite. piano I was, was better for than Halloween the Halloween one year, nigga. You said that piano was better than what? Did you guys see the piano she was playing on? Nah. It yeah, looked I didn't like see the it. tail of the dress. It was like curved down, and it uh-huh. was like, uh, like ceramic or something like that. I don't know. Which I think the budget good. was on this. Do what? Mm. How, how big of a budget do you think he spent on this? Probably about half a million. Yeah, it, went, the, it wasn't least, really much fuck more than that. Fuck he had. That. He had more so uh, appearances. Why? Jermaine well, he did have some. Free. The whole field was covered in performers at the beginning, like Vegas style performers. Yeah, they had the, the like showgirls and stuff like that out there dancing on the field. So I'm sure that they had to pay for them. Why did Jermaine Dupri come out dressed like a toddler? Oh, did you see that he posted the socks? Oh, yeah. The he, tried, he, he, said, he said himself. the brokies don't understand this type yeah, of living, baby. Hey, man. Like, look somebody, at these people somebody had my socks. A, <laughs> somebody had a picture of a dude on Facebook, bro. It was so funny. And they said, why does nigga look like the black boss, baby? Yeah. I, oh, I yeah, seen that. Exactly Boy, they called him CeeLo Green. Bro. I was weak as They fuck. called him. Who else they called him? They called him a couple. I'm like, damn, why they whooping his ass man, like this, boy? That's crazy. He was taking Funny a good sport. looking at it on uh, on social media. One thing I can say I didn't like about what I saw, mm-hmm. the little bit I have seen of his performance, mm-hmm. is that fucking blue and black little... um The roller derby stuff? That shit looked horrible. Yeah, what the fuck was he thinking? And Ludacris and all of them had it on. They looked like fucking... Um, boy, look, boy. Like the t- if, if if Tubi tried to make a Tron movie, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> y'all ever seen Tron? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah if, if, Tron to nah, Tron. Tron. Nah, it's about the bikes, the, the, the colorful bikes, the, the big the, ass the trail. Oh, no, I motors- okay, I show it to you. But them niggas, they look like if they tried, if they only had a ten thousand dollar budget to shoot the new Tron movie. Horrible. Uh, 